Why don't we just do episode 24, a two-parter, and split it 24 to 25? Because we're here now. Right? Like you said, no one's watching the Patreon, so it doesn't matter. Like, we're so serious about it, yeah, nobody's watching it. We'll post these episodes there. By the way, if you are watching, um, we, our Patreon's fucked up, but for all of you that are coming to to us, here's the thing, if you're coming to the club, some of you are coming to the club every week, some people are coming multiple times a week, and I know it sounds ridiculous, it's not that many people. Yeah, subscribe to the Patreon. You get free tickets. You get free tickets. There's one guy, sorry, the one guy subscribed to our Patreon right now comes every week to our comedy club and he's always like bro I forgot to pay and we're like you, you pay <laughs> he's like but I only put in 10 and that's like, the point that? <laughs> so <laughs> do it <laughs> okay so episode 24b so technically episode 25 uh, hey, hey that's hey, a milestone hey. right there yeah, I'll do. give you a snap soup that's huge ha <laughs> 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 ha I don't know if it'll be 30 minutes long but you know it can be 15 you got uh, 25 in it. Why? Um, what do you have to I'm going to need a pee. Uh, <laughs> so why didn't you pee before we started? I would have gone I did. I'm drinking a lot of water. Guess what happens? Do you have to pee right now? Let's just do the plumb. I can survive. I will survive. All right. So we're back. So we're here to stop. Is there anything? We well, just did such a long outro about... Okay, I just had this idea to cut you off and never let you get your feelings out. Oh, that's but, hilarious. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, being such a dick. Such a dick. But we that. just had this huge <laughs> hype up to, like, subscribe to our Patreon. Yeah, it was good. So let's clarify that. Yeah. Episode 25, what would have been Patreon, yeah. a little longer. Um, anything you want to get off your chest? <laughs> well, oh, my kidding. mother was here. All right, tell uh, us about that. And I love my mother. It's a good relationship. Show them the picture of your mother. Uh, Oh, I forgot that. Um, you forgot to press play? Well, I can... I'll do just that. A uh, picture of my mom is on my phone. Whatever. Mom on phone. Listen, I love my mother. Uh, but uh, I now... Uh, I now know. I'm 33. I turned 34 on Friday. And I was like, holy fuck, we have no boundaries. It's... It's so unhealthy. It's frightening. Uh... I'm glad you noticed it. Because she made me talk so deeply about my feelings, right? For three days straight. And at the same time, we were not eating well. We ate, like, garbage raccoons. We are going to family. We'd get Tim Hortons in the morning because we got to run around, right? It just... And then I went to work on Thursday and I had a fucking manic episode. And it's like, yeah, maybe because I had to talk about my fucking feelings so much. And it was like, okay, like... And it's not her fault. Let me clarify. At some point, I should have said, Hey, Mom, I can't talk about this anymore. All right? Like, I should have just said that. But I don't know how. We're, we're learning at our age. I have the same problem with you and, like, Ash and, like, people. I gotta... If something immediately pisses me off, I gotta be like, Hey, you're plugged. But you gotta just let people know too much. Yeah, yeah. Like, and it was intense. Because I had a full-on episode at work. I know I'm in Did an you episode. Break anything? No, I've moved on from those episodes. Okay, so therapy yeah. might work a little. Well, because so today I went. I had a. I told you about the rage blackout at. Uh, yeah, you want to talk about Brazil? No, I had a rage blackout at uh, the city parking permit office today. No, I, when I went last, I've been avoiding going because the last time I was there, I trashed the place. Today I showed up, and you have the security that like. You have to go through security to get in the building, and they have signs there that are like, please do not berate the staff. And I was like, this is because of me. <laughs> this is because of me. Did you take any pictures on his No, I, I, it's obviously not because of me, but uh, like, yeah. it's pretty funny. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty funny. A lot of it was COVID stuff. Did like, police escort you to the building? No, security came, and then I was like, I'm white, so they just When did you leave. black it back in? It, they last about 30 seconds. Of like, I just like throw shit and break shit. It happened in my old apartment, too, when I wasn't living there. <laughs> so if you were... Well, you know about these. No, I know I know about these. Thanks for telling them personal things about yourself. Yeah, Thanks we're even. For grad- we're not even, but we're close. Oh, I'm sorry I don't have bowls in my mouth no. story. <laughs> I'm sorry I don't have that. No, you have... That's like, okay, so we're not going there. <laughs> I'm sorry. Before we make it funny or bring out my... Okay, I guess you're feeling weird because we're talking... I didn't yeah. have this time. Um... What's your There's question? so many questions. Okay. So you black out and break things. It's and, happened twice. And people just let you walk out. Yes. Like you're Walter well, White throwing a piece of glass against the floor. Once it ha- it only happened in public once. And then it happened one other time. And then I was like, oh, I'm in trouble. I should call my doctor immediately. 
Um, I want to be hilarious. Because they happen within days of each other. I want to be hilarious, okay? Would yeah. Super hilarious. Please, I, I like it when um, you're hilarious. Oh, I don't know your accent that well. So imagine it was me on stage. Just do the accent. I like when you do my accent. Imagine if someone at our club did that. That's all I want to be saying. Oh, listen, I 100% will readily How say... How would you respond? It wasn't great. If someone tore down our shit. It wasn't amazing. No, that's not... It's not a you thing. I I'm didn't tear... You, okay. I'm let's not trying be, to make you feel bad. I'm trying clear. to set the system. How did you just get to walk out? They didn't even send you to Cam H? Yeah. They just let you leave. Walk, that's that, they just like that yeah. back in society. Yeah. Forget you. <laughs> yeah. I'm saying... I'm not... Yeah, yeah I get what you're saying. You're now. It's not that my friend is a, is a temper tantrum. <laughs> no, I'm weird. I mean, these were three I years ago. I have temper tantrums too. I don't bridge it. We'll talk about it later on the podcast. That being said, how does society let you have a blackout manic attack involving breaking public property and you just get to walk out the door? Yeah. I mean, I didn't really give security a chance to really talk to me. Who okay. knows? Yeah. I, I was like, I'm fine. I can... Uh, so funny, I said, and I quote, I know how to leave a building, and I just walked out. Different, so you carried right. it. Yeah, it just like moved as fast it as possible. It has a white thing, you just knew. And then I got outside, and I put myself up against the wall, and I just started to breathe. I was just like, <sighs> till I calmed down, because it was insane. Sounds insane. But with years of therapy. Yeah, well, that, that's when I went to my doctor, and that's when they let me see a real psychiatrist. Because up until that point, they were just treating me for depression. And I was like, it's getting worse. And they were like, okay, uh, here you go. Here's an appointment in si eight months from now. And I was like, eight months from now? So you're the joker. Eight months from you're now. You're the joker. To a point. Did you give your mom any sponge baths while she was there? God, fuck off. <laughs> no, it was too funny. But funny. But funny. Yeah, very funny. Well, um, yeah, I, have, I don't even know where to go. I want to try to save you with an embarrassing story of my own. But no, you don't need to save me. I'm no, I'm glad, I'm glad. So what this is a now? great. This is insane, bro. I went from rage blackouts to owning a comedy club, being coherent, going after my dreams in three years. But no, okay, yeah, we uh, shout out Jared Nathan. He's gonna be helping us with the club. Not help. Sorry, try me try that again. Shout out Jared Nathan. We're gonna be helping him with his comedy career. And uh, but he did bring up a cool, cool point. Uh, he said three years ago we were at Cannabis Court. Two, sorry, three summers ago or two summers ago. Last summer we were at Free Play and Park two Dale, and now we want to come to the club. club. That's so, an insane trajectory. So I want to know about your blackouts now. So you went from blackout rage to. So the first time it happened, there was like, I mean, I could talk about it for at like. No, I just wonder what happens now. I'm saying like, you got through. Okay, so then yeah. they, I saw the psychiatrist. They got me on the right medication because up until that point, I had been on three or four medications. And they all had. You're on medication right now. I'm on medication right now. I'm on what, what kind of medication? Future. What is that too? Uh, so it does, it's it was made to be a multi-system thing. I'm sitting cross-legged. So it it tackles some elements of ADHD with stimulations, and then it handles depression, and then uh, the episodes is meant to like help with those too. But but it is. When was uh, the last rage episode you had? Blackout? I haven't had a rage episode. When was the last time you blacked out? Uh, that. Medication, That's a big step. Medication only works if you do the rest. There's a whole nother list, right? If And I noticed it last week, I had an episode. Why? I didn't work out. I didn't eat right. I didn't drink you're, water. You're giving yourself right? also not enough credit. Like, yes, those are all contributing factors. And I'm sure they all weren't helpful. But you you spent a lot of time with your mom. You just said... If I, had, if I had kicked in 30 minutes of exercise every morning before we left... You wouldn't have been... I would not have had a manic episode the day it happened. 100% it wouldn't have happened. So what happened to this manic, like, this manic episode? So I know I'm in a manic episode when I stop listening to other people. When all I can think about is my own thoughts and the own thing, my own things I want to talk about. L learning. Right? That's how I write jokes, too, is I kick into these manic states, right? The downside is that I become very emotional. So the thing, my, I have tried to explain this to people, but they don't really get it, is that my manic episodes are an overwhelming emotional response. I feel all emotions almost simultaneously, right? So I start laughing and crying. I start, right, like I'm, oh, I'm in crazy. weird hysterics in that's public, wild. right? And, and I swing quickly between them. So like one minute I'm having a great time, next minute I'm in actual hell. And it just goes... <laughs> And I get overwhelmed to the point where I, I have to lie down. I have to just well, yeah, go to bed. Yeah, because your body isn't allowing you to like 
to equilibrium. It's like your body's just like, like I, wow, right? maybe I'm not bipolar. I'm definitely depressed, so don't get upset. Well, that's the thing. I think one of the issues in mental health is that they try to categorize it. They try to put it in We're a not box. the same genre, baby. It's, everyone's affects them differently. We're right? not the same fucking genre. I told my mom. I was, <laughs> yeah, we are. I get back. We are the same genre. I was trying to be metal, and then it turns out it's more folk emo. <laughs> so if you ever come to... That's very, very funny. Because if you ever come to a Bubby's Boys show, um, you're like, whoa, there's a bunch of people with the same chemical makeup, with the same... Genre disorders, but no, we're all unique butterflies. How how we need to deal with it is unique. Well, even right? the episode like, well, itself, might not work for you. But the episode itself, like I sometimes when when I'm there and like you pointed out, I won't hear anyone else talk. But by all means, you see me when I'm there. Like, there's no good time, bad time. There's just bad time and get worse time. Like it's not like um, I don't have it. when I'm going through this. I shit, would argue different because you always throw good ideas at me first. You'll like, that's how I know when you're in an episode. I show up and immediately you pitch me like 10 ideas. And like immediately. Them, and eight of them are fire. Yeah, and like most of them are good. It's a lot of work though. You've overcomplicated all of them. And then I'm like, hey dude, just like take a breath. And then you'll start to slowly get bad. Right? And then I, and that's when I'll be like, uh, okay, like, <laughs> right? And the, that's the problem is the bad, the bad hurts. The good's useful. Well, for me, again, it's not even a good... It's just that I... Um, like, you know how many bits I wrote during the, the entry stage of my episode on Thursday? I wrote bangers. Like, fucking... Like, four or five... I tried them all yesterday, and I fucking murdered. Like and I, I was like... And so that, that trade-off, that's why most of us don't work on it. Though, right? Yeah, that's why we don't... But here's the thing, is I'm learning that you can go into them and come out of them and just look up yourself. That's all you have to do. Like, know yourself, right? Well, so my therapist to... made me track it. She made me literally, every time I met an episode, I come out of an episode, I have to write down what happened before it, and then explain how I went through it, just so I can track it. So generally, it's every two weeks. Since I've been having them on stage, like, deliberately, you saw me today, I came out with some good ideas, but, like, I'm not manic after, and there was no, um, they're not complicated. Like, I see what you're saying. Like, today when I came out, I was like, this is doable. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, that was the difference. And it's, it's crazy. That's all. Will you sleep deprived on the weekend? A little. That's one of the biggest ones. I think it's the heat, so it's the dehydration. Again, I'm not being manic right now. We're, yeah. both, we're both, like, we've been manic. We're in weird places. Like, for, for me, I figured out that when I'm manic, can I tell them the story? Yeah, sure. So, I don't really, I've been doing really well. But what got me my black belt was, uh, I had a really good set on Saturday at 8. And I, my Ash was there. If you don't know Ash, is my girlfriend I talk about. And I was like, hey, I, I was good because I'm insecure. She's like, yeah, it was really good. But we need you to be great. <laughs> Immediate? I, that was I a... thought she was kidding. And then we made eye contact and it was so serious. And for, like, serious to the point where I was like, what? And she's like, we need you to be great. Like, you need to be manic. Now, the thing with me manic is you've seen it. She's seen it. When I get like, there's a little step before I go angry and crazy that I'm very funny. It's kind of like Yosemite Sam from yeah, yeah. Like that's right, like my very whole life. Like people have been <laughs> laughing at it. Like I remember when I was like, "This is." Anyways, there's this little split second that when I'm telling the truth and being transparent and like fired up, it's the best. So she's like, "I need you to be." And that same day, we were having a nap, and I stepped on her earring, and like she saw it hit, and she the way she like she laughed so hard. So she's like, "I need you to be manic, baby," and instead of that. I was still trying to digest that she basically told me that I'm not great. And I just took it, per you know, me, yeah. personally. And by the time I, like, she got me out of my head and she's just like, you need to be great. Like, you gotta jazz them up. And I was like, I gotta jazz them up. The next thing you know, it's like a pep talk. <laughs> jazz them up, jazz them up. And next thing you know, I'm just like scatting at her. Like, scat, like, you've seen the bit now. She's like, scat, but do, bah, bah. And I'm just like scatting at her. She's like, that's it, baby, that's it. And then, like, I got on stage. And this wasn't just, like, immediate. Like, it was like, I hosted the 8 o'clock. Smoked a bunch of weed, whatever. You let me have some time off. Posted at like 10.30. This conversation probably happened at like 10.05. So I'm just now like stewing on it. Like, yeah, yeah. So I have to be great. But the only way I'm great is I'm manic. And when I'm manic, like, okay. You affect the, those around you. Well, I wasn't even there at yeah. that point yet. I was just like, okay, I now know what I have to do on stage. 
So something, and uh, Robert Kackham, the, the guy that I shout out all the time too, showed me old Bill Burr, and I've already seen it, but it's been a while. And it was Bill Burr's not like Bill Burr yet, he's just angry. And I was just like, okay, I gotta. I gotta go through this to get to the other side. So it's like, it's like when I saw that, I was like, that's what he's talking about. Like when Ash is being ma- manic, what makes me so funny is it's a guy speaking freely, pissed off. So I was like, okay. I think that's the only way. And I was funny. pissed off because Ash said that. So I get on stage and like... You just wrote it. I just... You wrote I rewrote it. history. I just like, instead of going on stage and being like, isn't that... Like, I'll tell these jokes in, in the original tone of my stand-up. Still pretty good. But I was like, isn't that weird? Isn't that weird? And then now when I go up there, it's just like, this bothers me. <laughs> this bothers me. But it's the same jokes. Because <laughs> it's just like... And it's it's just already like, even funnier. You were like, it's weird. I was like, okay. And, and then I'm, you're like, this bothers me. I'm this like, pisses I'm me like, off. <laughs> this bothers me. This shouldn't be. And it's like, anyone who knows me, I'm a super positive person off stage. Off stage, I like, man. I would say I'm not. Like, I'm. Yeah, I think you're. I, I think you're. Uh, one of the things you do is you use positivity to cover up shit. You'll throw. Sure. You'll be like, You'll be like, oh, I'm going to use positivity because it will make it better. And it's like, no, 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 no. Whatever it is, I've learned in my life that if you want to get a goal accomplished, you got to stay positive. That's all I'm trying to say. Yeah, I mean, I think, it, I think it's a very, uh, I, you know, I have a problem with positivity in that. So business. should I say I'm, I'm very, like, I'm resilient? Can we use that You're word? resilient. Do you want me to say that I'm... Um, Here's my problem with the, like, just look at the bright side, is you don't address the bad side. That's what the stage is for, though. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. No, what is the stage for? You're an entertainer. <laughs> so, anyways. Since I made the conscious decision to entertain while talking about the things I want to talk about, my comedy didn't go on fire, bro. I, I get that. I'm not fire, there bro. yet. I'm just saying what got You're my there. comedy fire. There. No, I get that. But so what I'm working on right now is these things that piss me off. Yeah. So it's just That's like, what you're working on right now, yeah. That's all. I'm just trying to, like, I've known that I have the next little bit. And I'm great. I'm glad you gave me the next chapter. The next chapter is I'm here to entertain. But right now... <laughs> you're in that one. I'm doing very well. Uh, yeah, you murdered. Stuff. That's all. Yeah, and you murdered. So it's very hard. And you to... carried it into Sunday, too. No, I know what to do now. I just did yeah. it on the last podcast. I just don't want to do it now. Yeah, you did it on this one, too. Oh, did I? Well, yeah. There, no, wait, I, wait, wait, wait. Well, I guess we're right there right now. But what I've learned <laughs> is, like, you know, I guess we're not lying. I am kind of there. But what we've learned is, like, for me, the hard thing was, like, I did carry it over to Sunday. But the weird thing I learned was, it was, like, I got off stage Saturday night. I was so manic that the next day, and this is that part of the bit, is the next day I woke up, <laughs> hanging out with my girlfriend that literally told me that I have to be manic to be funny. I'm now manic, and she's like, you're causing me anxiety. Like, you're stressful. So I go to work, and then you're like, you're causing me anxiety. Uh, you're I stressful. You both said the exact same wording. That was like, you're a lot. Like, I just said you were a lot right now. <laughs> yeah, That's all I said. I didn't say you were giving me anxiety. There was a part where I was talking to you, and you're like, notice how I'm ignoring you? Yeah. That means I'm not, like, I'm not entertaining, whatever it was. And it was hard for me to come down. And then finally, I came down. And then we go back to work, and we go back, and then a private party comes, and it shows up at 10 p.m., so it's my show on Sunday. So I turn it back on, and it's just like, oh, this is going to be a ride. Like, this is crazy. Are you excited, though? Yeah, we're doing everything right. Um, look out for everything we're doing. Well, this has been Cook Dad's episode 25. I guess we can call episode 24, like... The Brando Show Part 2. And then we can call episode 25, The Other <laughs> Show Part 2. Full circle. Um, and we're going to be taking a break, um, hoping two weeks. Uh, I'm thinking less, but we'll see what happens. Well, i got to buy the stuff, wait for it to arrive. If you are watching this, we're going to be starting a new channel called Coke Dad's Podcast on YouTube. Follow, Follow that one. Subscribe. Um, Bobby Boys is going to do its own thing. Now, if you really miss us. Now, if you really really miss us we're at back the back room, room comedy, comedy club, club. <laughs> wednesday through sunday 8, 8 and 10. 10 p.m and then through the summer we're at the boxcar social monday nights at the harbor Front. at nine ish yeah but that one's loose and then yeah <laughs> uh we're also doing other shows too so you know, if you don't want to support follow our me menu, follow him if you don't want to support us if you just like one of us no, but like, say you say you don't like us at all say you actually like Okay, let me write that. Rewrite that. Say you love us, or at one point you did love us, and now that love's turned into hate because we either did something that offended you or we grew out of you as a person, because <laughs> it's one of those two things for sure. Come support someone else's show and watch you us make you laugh. Us. No, I'm saying, like, both of us have public accounts. Yeah. So f- check out our account. 
These are for the haters out there. Check out our account. Um, find our show that isn't one that we're on. Come, hate yourself later for laughing, and have the biggest <laughs> orgasm of your fucking life. We've been Bubby's Boys Presents. No, Coke Dad Podcast. I'm Vince McBrand. <laughs> Bye. Bye.